Hi everybody, Nam here, and today we're going to be talking about magic with Pokemon cards. And we're actually going to be focusing on the type of sleight of hand magic that is known as a color change. If you didn't know what a color change is, it's basically taking a card and then changing it to be a completely different card. So if you were using a classical deck of playing cards, you might, you know, pick up the Jack of Spades and then perform the color change and then the Jack of Spades would no longer be the Jack of Spades. It might be like the Two of Hearts or something. And um, that's basically a type of thing that is done in Sleight of Hand Magic. And there's a lot of different color changes. And I basically use them, I feel to decent extent, trying to evolve different Pokemon during um, my little stint of trying to perform uh, sleight of hand magic with Pokemon TCG cards. So this is a little bit more uh, relevant now because Pokemon cards are kind of like selling out like crazy. So if you haven't heard, like there's big box stores like Target and Walmart. They Well, Target has kind of stopped selling Pokemon cards altogether. And Walmart has kind of like put them behind like the locked cases that you would see like video games in. So I was like, this is crazy, but... Uh, anyway, so if you haven't seen any of my uh, particular tricks with Pokemon cards in which I perform evolutions, this is basically uh, going to be just a run of like four of them. To be fair, most of them have a pretty thinly veiled story of basically the Pokemon evolving, but you don't really need to watch them. I think this time you can kind of see them because color changes are intended to be super visual. I don't need to stop in between of the action, so I don't think you'll kind of forget like what's going on. All right, so we've got like four videos to watch today, but they're all super short. So uh, as you can imagine, color changes are, are pretty quick. So let's go ahead and go through them. All right, this first one is actually not an evolution. It's going to be the snap switch Tauros because we're gonna switch to the Tauros. And ready? Here we go. Hi everybody, I'm Nam, and today we're going to be doing magic with Pokemon cards. So what I have here is a Switch and a Tauros. And what we'll do is leave the Switch on the table right here, and the Tauros is going to be the Pokemon that we can switch out. So look, we're going to swap the Tauros out, and it's actually going to become a Kyogre. And the thing is, it's actually going to be uh, completely swapped because what's going to happen is I can actually show you that the Tauros is completely gone and it has disappeared. So there we are. We swapped the Tauros for Kyogre. That one, I basically had a little bit of stuttering. I kind of didn't like how I handled the second half of that because basically when the trick was over, I said, this is what's going to happen. And I'm like, well, there's nothing else that's going to happen. That's basically everything. So this particular color change is called the snap change, but I basically added a little bit extra because um, I learned a little bit more. There was this one particular video that I saw on, I think, Alex Pendrea's channel, where someone teaches the snap change and then cards will switch. And I was like, oh, switch, Pokemon has a switch. And I basically decided to use switch as part of this trick, but it's kind of handled a little bit differently than it is over there. Let me also kind of chime in on the fact that uh, I thought that the actual change was clean um, because you saw that the Tauros and then I basically just touched the card and then the uh, Kyogre basically appeared right there and I was like oh, okay so I was kind of happy with that. Um, there were other elements of this that I was not happy about but uh, I won't really delve into those but if you guys are curious or whatnot or just want to have like you know some sort of like sleight of hand magic discourse uh that i'd be happy to bring up the things that i was not happy with this if you haven't noticed with a lot of the titles of the tricks that i put up using you know various card games and board games and things i try and title them in a way so that the there's a partially name of the trick in there so you know it might not make any sense to anybody else who's not into sleight of hand magic as part of the title. I try and do that. Sometimes it doesn't make any sense. Sometimes it doesn't work out, so I don't do it. But by and large, a lot of the titles of my magic trick videos will have kind of like partially explaining what 
the trick is and then partially explaining like what props or what <laughs> IP I'm using. So, all right, the next video, and this is a different color change and it is going to be using a Voltorb and Voltorbs evolve into electrodes. So I'm going to evolve a Voltorb into an electrode. Let's go. Hi everybody, I'm Nam, and today we're going to be doing magic with Pokemon cards. Um, here, I want to show you this Pokemon right here. This Pokemon is actually a Voltorb. So this Voltorb is interesting because we're going to go ahead and evolve this Voltorb. So the thing is with Voltorbs is we want to go ahead and get the Voltorb ready for evolution, and then what we're going to do is evolve it into an electrode. And there we are. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. All right, so this one, I uh, called it Bertram Voltorb, and uh, the slight is called the Bertram change, or the Bertram color change. I'm a little bit less comfortable performing the Bertram change than the snap change. The snap change was my first one, and I, you know that's still pretty natural to me. Um, the thing about color changes is that, uh, depending on what you do and how you do it, there are various viewing angles that are more appropriate than others. And so I kind of learned pretty quick that the snap change is pretty much something that you just do for like one or two people directly in front. Like the field of view just for that is just kind of like effectively single person. Um, the Bertram change, however, it's a little bit wider. It's not like super wide, but it's wide enough that you can kind of handle like you know, a quarter circle or like a half circle, even if you're pretty good. But um, I'm probably a little bit more comfortable doing it now than I was at the time of filming this video, but um, it's still not like super natural for me to, to perform it all the time. So, okay, so let's see. Next one I called Toral Riolu. And honestly, this one might be like, one of the, the weakest uh, color changes because I feel like if you tell anybody the name of this trick, it kind of gives away like the method in which how you achieve it. But um, I still think it looks cool. And honestly, people who don't know the name of it and they just see it, it usually is pretty decent. Um, and there's a lot of variants of this one. So let's go ahead and Okay, so yeah, here we go. Twirl Riolu. Hi everybody, I'm Nam, and today we're going to be doing magic with Pokemon cards. So let's show you that we have a Riolu right here, and the Riolu is actually going to be able to do something interesting for us. The Riolu is actually going to be able to evolve. And look, if we just shake it, it actually evolves into a Lucario. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Okay, so that one was super quick. It's super fast. And um, so I used a regular uh, Riolu and evolved it to a shiny Lucario. So the one problem with using Pokemon cards is that, well, there's actually a few problems with using Pokemon cards. But the first thing is if you're evolving something from its base type to its evolved type, usually they're the same like elemental type. So in this case, uh, Riolu and Lucario are both fighting. And uh, the color is basically the same. So unless you know exactly what those specific Pokemon look like, you might not realize that the card changed at all. So I was like, oh, okay, let me at least use this shiny one just to try and show some contrast. But um, like, if you couldn't tell in the last one when I did Voltorb and Electrode, and I was like, well, I mean, a Voltorb inherently also kind of looks like an Electrode because <laughs> they're both just round things, right? So it's really tough unless you know what the cards look like or, or it's just obvious that the card changed to you. But that one was tougher because they both have the same color. They're both yellow. They're both electric or thunder, lightning. Uh, I think they're electric Pokemon. But like the, the earlier one when I did, it was uh, transforming a, or sorry, switching a Tauros to a Kyogre. I mean, that's very clear because they're very different. And the, the, the color in the background is different as well. So, um, and then the other thing that is problematic with Pokemon cards, besides just the card quality from like old Pokemon cards, new Pokemon cards. If you couldn't tell, a lot of my Pokemon cards were quote unquote newer Pokemon cards. They're not like the newest because 
uh, I got back into the game sometime in like the, what is it, the early 2010s or something. And so a lot of the cards I think came from there. Uh, unless, oh no, I did purchase a couple of starter decks, I think a few years ago, just so um, when, was it Detective Pikachu came out? So uh, yeah, just around that time, I got like a few starters. But anyway, man, starters have evolved, uh, pun intended, from way back when they first started Pokemon. So there's so many more synergies in starter decks now than there ever were in the past. All right, here we go. Charmander evolution change. So I'll just let you watch and then we'll talk about it. Hi everybody, I'm Nam and today we're going to be doing magic with Pokemon cards. So here's what we want to show you today. It's going to involve this Charmander. And as everybody knows, Charmander can evolve. And Charmander evolves into a different Pokemon. Evolves into what? Charmeleon? Okay. Charmeleon. Right. Exactly. Great. Um, so, as we all know, Charmeleon also evolves, so we can't leave Charmeleon like this because Charmeleon evolves into one of the most popular Pokemon, um, and that happens to be the fire dragon that is known as Charizard, and that is the evolution of Charmander to Charmeleon to Charizard. So, in most of the other ones, I only swapped a card once. And this one, I was performing two changes, and uh, I don't even know what the name of this color change is, but uh, if anybody cares, I'll just drop uh, Tenkai as like, it is used during this. So <laughs> if that means anything. First of all, I think Charmander to Charizard, full evolution, uh, probably a decent call because, you know, Charmander and Charizard are very recognizable as far as Pokemon are concerned. And it also makes thematic sense because you always start from Charmander and then evolves to Charmeleon and then to Charizard. And um, you know, should you choose to evolve the Pokemon, I guess in not a, not all circumstances you would necessarily want to evolve, but that is what the path would be. And it's kind of a straight path. It's not like an EV where it can evolve into like 20 billion different things. Um, so yeah, that is kind of the collection of color changes that I used to evolve different Pokemon from certain cards to other cards. And uh, the one thing that I wanted to do in this video was demonstrate and show all of those because the next one, a, a new trick video, because what I do is I try and combine all of these tricks into one, but that is a completely different other story that I'll explain uh, in the next video. So anyway, so I forgot to do the proper closing, so we're going to do it right this time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. You have a glorious day. Thanks for watching.